YouTube! We're here live on my stream, twitch.tv forward slash farf. If you haven't already subscribed or followed me, you should probably hop on over there and do that. Today, I'm going to be listening to your most unhinged bananas takes that you have about the game. The most whatever ridiculous thing that you believe and absolutely want, no matter what, if it's correct or not, I want to know it. Do you think Shockmaster should come back? Do you think Maxi is the best card ever printed? I want to hear it. Let's begin. I think links are a little too generic. I think... Okay. They were just synchros, but better effectively. I think a way Okay, to we're very them. vanilla right now. I think everyone is unanimously in agreement with you. So where do we go from here? How do we make it unhinged? We require that link materials be either where the monster would be link summoned or where its arrows would point to. So for example, to summon a Halk, you would need something in the far left or right and the middle. Wait, and so how do you summon to the extra monster zone in the first place? Well, you have to summon, to summon something with a narrow and pointing arrow first, is how this would work. That's so weird. So I can only summon Hulk to the EMZ if I put something in monster zone 1 and 3. Yes. How do you summon Shizuku? That's not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, if you, uh, flip monsters, they're kind of shit, right? <laughs> that is true. And every other, every like semi-decent flip archetypes all about trying to like flip them on your opponent's turn with some like shitty trap or whatever yes yeah okay we take the, we take the middleman and shoot him at bat in the back and just turn these flip monsters into like monster traps basically i want to <laughs> a bug on my opponent's turn <laughs> monster traps am i wrong Does my trap cards work <laughs> so well if i set like i don't know crawler spine i can just Flip it like a trap card on my opponent's turn. Exactly, exactly. That's exactly. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't have a hot take. I have a suggestion though. Like, I actually came up with a way to implement a third pen scale. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is no, this is serious. I'm gonna link you an image in chat, and I'm gonna explain it. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, so all right, so we have a gold scale here. What, yeah, what does that mean? And I changed the number. So one of the scales is always unused, and and it feels like it's it's just kind of useless, right? Like why have two? So what if the number you had on the right side uh, meant how many monsters you can summon from the extra deck, like pen summon without zones? But that this just says four. That's unreasonable. That doesn't fix anything. What do you mean? You can pen summon four. <laughs> Hello. Chat often makes fun of you for making misplays, but I, I think it's completely fine that you're just not that good at Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay. I mean, chat is pretty stupid as well. Wait, is that hard. is that it? That's the that's that's your. I mean, we what's the to... point you're getting to here? Like, are you where are you going with this? What I'm saying is, it's fine that you're bad. But you don't <laughs> have to blame it on chat or anything. <laughs> you could play a little better. You know, it's not that difficult. Bro, what the. F <laughs> All right, you're out of here. <laughs> you could just play a bit better. What would make games last longer, but not be like a massive change to the rule set? Okay. And so, you know how you can build a crazy boards and OTK people usually with a couple monsters, like you just climb to access code and kill your opponent, whatever. Well, sure. what if you made the life points instead of 8,000, 16,000? So you can't just OTK somebody and they get another turn to possibly come back or wipe their board or whatever. You want to double the life points. Yeah. Okay. Also, Do you also want to uh, ban Ancient Leaf, I assume? I don't know what that card does, so... Oh, have you never read Ancient Leaf? No. Okay, Google, do me a favor, Google Ancient Leaf right now. I want your live reaction. Oh. That's fine. It's 100% fine. That's, you know... <laughs> just, just ban it. <laughs> okay. Um, so you think 60,000 life points would just... Basically, you're just deleting OTKs. Yeah. Martha for the Exosisters is bad for the archetype's future. Bad for the future? What does that mean exactly? Because of that Xeno lock, you get your Xyz monster, your, your Xyz deck that's supposed to do Xyz things, and you can't use all of the best parts of Xyz decks. Okay. Like, it's a rank 4 turbo deck that can't use the decade, a, or the decade of Xyz monsters that were made for it. And not only that, for the main deck, you can't even use any other engines. Like, you can't do the Magistus engine. You can't do any future support that comes out for any rank 4 unless it specifically is Exosisters, because Martha just says no. W okay, if you feel that strongly, why don't you just cut her? Oh, no, I do. Oh, <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I'm saying is that Konami isn't going to release any good Exosister support. Wait, because... sorry, hang on. Have you been playing Exosisters without Marth? Wait, is this not the place for unhinged takes? <laughs> I think <I'm> it's just... <laughs> It's gonna be really unhinged now. We've got Seb here. Yeah, so <laughs> I have two simple, very simple requests for Master Ball Sits. Firstly, whatever they do for Master Ball Sits, do not call it Burst Summon. But you see, <laughs> you have these people like Enmity Yuga who'll be like, oh, they runic until I tip. Imagine that with Burst Summoning, right? They summon mm. until I burst. You'll get that. For five years in a row. So do not <laughs> I'm gonna burst. <laughs> second, second request for Master Will Sits. I think Master Will Sits should, uh, the anime for it should be based in Turkey and they should reintroduce regionals to Turkey. We should get a YCS in Turkey and regionals and OTS championships, etc. <laughs> okay, so we're, uh, um, on the ground support for Turkey. Are you just waiting here, Scrub, to actually give a take, or are you just vibing? Yeah, I just want to talk about how time rule should be end of chain length. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I think, I think we get too many ban lists. Too many. To get yes, too many. I okay. think we need to get less because people are are doing like people are a bit ravenous for hits. They go like, oh, a sprite is insane. We need to hit sprite. We need to hit sprite. And then we get the tier support and the Ashizu stuff, and it's just better. And did we really need to hit Sprite? And now people are like, we need to hit a Shizu tier. We need to hit a Shizu tier. And we're going to get Cash tier up. And I don't know if you know this, but that deck is really good against a Shizu tier. So I think maybe it'd be better if we got less lists, like maybe like once a year or twice a year. And just once? Yo. Like <laughs> after a full year, see like, okay, is the deck actually still a problem? Or did new cards come out and it's not a problem anymore? What if there's like a really massive problematic deck? You're just stuck with it for like a year or six months. Cry about it? Uh, yeah. Uh, you know like how everyone always complains like, yeah, there is way too much hero support. Every single year there's a hero support. Every month there's a new hero cards. Uh, my hot take is that the amount of hero cards you get is not enough, actually. There it isn't enough more. hero support in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes, it should be more. Like, where are the, the, the main deckmaster heroes we, we didn't get them yet? Where, where are, like, the retrains of the classic he heroes? And, like, where is Mass Change 3? When are you getting Mass Change 3? <laughs> Mass Change 3? I mean, okay, so yes. Mass Change sends, Mass Change 2 discards. What the hell are we doing with Mass Change 3? Uh, I don't know, like, Super Poly Mass Change. You send in the opponent's monster and some other claw. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> so, uh... Konami's hosting YCSs and tournaments completely wrong, and this is going to solve the time issues. Maybe give people like these these chip things, like maybe in some sort of like star form, <laughs> um, and then you collect those star chips, and uh, you just uh, you know the the people with the most star chips at the end, like maybe the top sixteen, get put onto like some sort of a tournament, and maybe at the end they can like uh, uh, duel like the CEO of Konami or something. My first question is. Doesn't this just promote, like, speed decks of sorts? Like, decks that just insta-win or insta-lose? So you're, not, you're never ever gonna play control, right? Well, I mean, hey, that solves a time issue. Okay. Like, hey, you never want to go to time. Okay, fair. And then also, how do you stop win trading? Like, what if you just have a group of friends and then you just funnel all of the victories to one person? You, you let it happen. You just let it happen. It's gonna be like the Wild West, all right? It's just gonna be like... <laughs> hey, hey, if they're really good duelists, then awesome. They'll get to top 16 anyways. But if they're, you know, bad, they'll just, you know, they'll lose out in the first, you know, round. First round of Tough Cut. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> all right. And just think about it. Like, they could sell... Konami could sell, like, accessories. Like, they could maybe give you, like, a glove that you can put, like, the star chips in. They, oh, yeah. You know, like, maybe, like, a, a, a like a badge case type of situation. Yeah, it's yeah, It's a sure. completely untapped market. They could use, like, an entire city instead of just, like, a venue. And then you right? can go to different places exactly. in that city. I was thinking the same thing. Like, maybe start yeah. small with, like, a park or something. But, like, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, who knows? Maybe you'll just be able to, like, rent an island or something like that. <laughs> hey. So, we've got all this talk about increasing, decreasing extra deck. But I think we just need another one. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> just extra, another. <laughs> extra deck, too. Yeah, and it just okay. has really, really strong spell trap. Okay, how do you access the extra deck to spells and traps? Uh, 
Ask Konami. I don't know. I didn't play the card. <laughs> Sorry, what? Say that again? No, no, not a single person is playing Master Duel optimally. Okay. <laughs> uh, they are so incapable of evaluating a format that we are just playing the decks that were good in the TCG seven months ago. Like, if you look at, um, like, the Master Duel meta tier list and stuff, they're like, yo, uh, Branded's great, Sword Soul's great. Why? Because they were good in the TCG. Like, there's really no other thought that goes into it <laughs> other than that. You understand, this is a format where you can FTK with Wind Up, with Spiral, with Ad Emancipator. You can play 45 Negates. I think Runic is our first glimpse into what would happen if Master Duel players used 1% of their brain. <laughs> uh, the thing that is keeping Master Duel from being ruined and not just populated by like dog water ftk nonsense and set 30 pass is the fact that the players are by and large very stupid people <laughs> dollars that are easy clay manipulatable by the twitch and yugi tubing public and if any of them decided to develop their frontal lobe or use their critical thinking abilities, Master Duel would be unplayable in a week, littered with <laughs> stun nonsense and FTKs. And I think we're starting to see it like percolate in Runic, one of the first times in which like there is a deck that wasn't really successful in the TCG, which is unquestionably tier one uh, for a ladder system specifically. And boy, am I not excited to figure <laughs> out how that's going to develop as we get like players learning what a combo deck is. I, I think this game is fucked. <laughs> it's doomed. We are going to see players get a taste of not letting their opponent do anything, be it by way of floodgates or a 57 to gate combo, and they're going to go, I need a little more. I need a little more. Yeah. And then we'll all forget Branded or Sword Soul ever happened. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You really needed to get this off your chest, I see, huh? I... Uh, I don't know. I, I I want Mr. Konami to come out tomorrow and be like, hello, uh, you know, it's me, Mr. Konami. Uh, and uh, The individual I'm man himself, man Konami, yes. And uh, Appalosa. You're welcome. <laughs> Apollo, that's, it, that, <laughs> that's the root of the problem, Appalosa. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what is a fusion? Okay, a combination of two monsters via a spell card. But is it? What do tier limits do? Uh, uh, they fuse without the spell card. I think I finally figured it out. Konami has successfully completed fusions, and it only took a quarter of a century. Okay. Fusion summoning is whatever. If you wait, activate, that, that's it. Uh, you just wanna, you just wanna fuse, like. No, here. Let me give a demonstration. If I activate Branded Fusion, uh -huh. my fusion materials go from deck to grave, and I summon Albion. Then my fusion materials get banished from my graveyard to fusion summon to make Lubellion, which shuffles my banished fusion materials into the deck. Okay. It's literally, fusion is whatever, and that's what makes it complete. Because at the end of the day, isn't that what matters? What what is your where are you going with this? Like what's your end point here? Goodbye. You, you're really teasing me. Like you're you're building this up. Like what's the like what what is the end goal here? What are you, what are you saying to me? He left. 